Jeff is filling his swimming pool with water. It already has 8 gallons in it and is being filled at a constant rate of 4 gallons per minute. Let x equal the number of minutes and y equal the gallons of water in the pool. Model the situation above with a table, graph, and equation. Let's first complete the table, where again x is the number of minutes and y equals the gallons of water in the pool. When x is equal to zero, zero minutes have passed, and therefore the amount of water in the pool is a starting amount of eight gallons, which means when x is zero, y is eight. And now because the pool is being filled at a rate of four gallons per minute, after each minute there will be four more gallons of water in the pool. And therefore when x is equal to one, the gallons of water in the pool is equal to eight plus four, which is 12. When x is one, y is 12. When x is two, the amount of water in the pool is going to be 12 plus four, which is 16 gallons. When x is two, y is 16. When x is three, after three minutes, there will be 16 plus four, 20 gallons of water in the pool. When x is three, y is 20. And when x is four, there will be 20 plus four, 24 gallons of water in the pool. When x is four, y is 24. And now to make a graph, we'll plot these five points on the coordinate plane and then sketch a line. For the order pair zero comma eight from the origin, we do not move left to right, we just go up eight units. Here is the point for the order pair zero comma eight, which is the vertical or y-intercept. Next order pair is one comma 12. From the origin, we move right one and then up 12. For the order pair two comma 16 from the origin, right two up 16. The next order pair is three comma 20. From the origin, right three up 20. And then finally we have four comma 24 from the origin, right four up 24. Now when you graph this line on the homework system, it is going to graph the line moving to the left and right, but really for the application problem, the x values have to be greater than or equal to zero. So for my graph, I will start the graph at the vertical or y-intercept, and then only sketch the line moving to the right. This is actually called a ray. And now let's work on determining the equation. Again, we know the starting amount is eight gallons, which corresponds to the vertical intercept, and then the pool is being filled at a constant rate of four gallons per minute, which we can also see in the table. Notice how the y value is increased by four each time the x value is increased by one, which gives a constant rate of positive four divided by positive one, which is positive four, meaning a rate of four gallons per minute. And therefore y is equal to the starting amount of eight gallons plus four times the number of minutes, which in our case is four times x or four x. We can also express the equation as y equals four x plus eight. Y equals four x plus eight is referred to as sloped intercept form. And the homework doesn't mention it, but for this situation, the set of all possible x values or the domain is really only when x is greater than or equal to zero, or using interval notation, the interval from zero to infinity closed on zero. I hope you found this helpful.